Hello everyone, today we're going to try out Echo Mimic version 2, a new talking avatar diffusion framework. It generates talking avatars not just with facial expressions, but it can also mimic half-body motions using one image, driving audio, and hand poses to create AI character movement and animations. We'll first test it in the GitHub project, then play around with Comfy UI where they've released custom nodes for Echo Mimic V2. For the first method, we'll use Pinocchio. It has the Echo Mimic installer. With one click, you can search in that directory and hit the installation button. It'll help install everything from the Echo Mimic GitHub project and all the libraries. I won't explain much about Python installation since many of you don't have a tech background, which is understandable. And from the comment section saw there where some common mistake cause error from your setup steps as always. So the Pinocchio installer is the most convenient option for user who want to use Gradio web UI. At the top, you can upload one image for your character and input audio files. I have my audio files here, about 14 seconds. This image is a not a good example because it doesn't have hands and better resolution comes in square aspect ratio. For example, this 1024x1024 one is better. It also shows hands in the image and can produce half body animations. At the bottom, we have weight, width, and height settings. Just click generate. After that, you'll get output on the right side of this control panel. You can play the preview and use the download button in the top right corner to download your videos. In today's tutorial, we are going to talk about new AI tools. As you can see, it looks pretty good using low sampling steps. I'm not setting them too high. Here are some preset characters and audio files for testing. If you're having problems, check their preset characters for image aspect ratios and character criteria. Clear face and hand poses with both hands in front for better AI animation. With these criteria, the Echo Mimic framework generates good results, especially with faces. You need a clear face with good lighting, not too dark or blurry. You can't mimic characters in those conditions. 科学家发现新型材料有望提高能源利用效率。There's also a Comfy UI custom node that runs this model framework. It supports both Echo Mimic version 1 and the new version 2, which enables semi-body human animations. These AI models are trained on human body data sets, so they might not detect animals or alien characters in reference images. To install Echo Mimic for Comfy UI custom nodes, follow these instructions. First, git clone into your Comfy UI custom nodes folder to create a Comfy UI Echo Mimic folder with all the source code. Then run the requirements.txt to install components, followed by the no depths face net pytorch command. If you can't run this successfully in Comfy UI, there are troubleshooting instructions and links to download the models. Follow the folder structure by storing everything in the models folder and creating a subfolder called Ecomic. Download the UNet audio processor and VAE to set up Echo Mimic version 2. Version 1's folder structure is slightly different, but mostly similar to version 2. Since we're working with version 2, scroll down to the Hugging Face page where we'll download Echo Mimic, create another subfolder called version 2, and download all four model files from this Hugging Face link. I'll provide the installation instructions link in the description below on my website, along with the GitHub project page for the Comfy UI custom nodes. I downloaded this pretty smoothly without issues. Right here, I have another workflow I created using a Flux model to create a presentation AI avatar. I'm using my trained LoRa character. You can use Flux Schnell or Flux Div to create your AI image, whichever version you prefer. For speed, I used Flux Schnell for quick image generation. The character's pose is referenced from the Echo Mimics demo page, but instead of using their standard demo image, I use my own LoRa to make it more interesting. This is especially useful for presentations with AI avatars, which are becoming common in real-world environments like website customer service. This is a simple basic group using LoRa for text-to-image. Here, I can define styles for the AI avatar face and body shape following my LoRa character. I have several character LoRa's loaded here. After creating the AI image of my LoRa character, we can enable this group. I'll rename it to Echo Mimic V2. This group will handle our AI avatar mimic animations, connect the output from the Flux image groups to animate the AI avatar. 
I've loaded 22 seconds of female voice audio that matches the AI avatar. We need the Stability AI SDVAE model, which is available on the GitHub project page, along with the UNet and audio models. The hollow upscale is optional. We'll focus on the UNet, V2 audio, and VAE for now. Using the Stability AI SDVAE means we're using Stable Diffusion VAE here. The AI avatar animations will be based on stable diffusion image generation using UNet to drive the audio and animation videos. We have the sampler and pose directory for customizing body and hand movements, which I'll cover in future videos. You can adjust settings like face mask ratio and phase drop ratio. For weight, width, and height, we use 512 resolution, which is standard for stable diffusion image generation. Then, we'll get the video output combined with audio and frame rate. This file will be the Echo Mimic Vi 2 output, so I'll rename and save this. Let's try the basic features of this Echo Mimic framework first. In upcoming videos, we'll explore more customized poses and settings. Everything looks good here, so let's run it once and see how it goes. The first time it runs, it'll load all the UNet, VAE, and audio models. For me, it takes about 10 minutes to finish processing this 22-second audio, so we'll come back later. Here's our generated result. You can see the image we passed to Echo Mimic V2 generated the AI talking avatar animations. When you mouse over, you'll hear the audio combined with the video. Here in Future Thinker Benji channel, this is a demonstration of Echo Mimic V. The quality is flickering a bit. If you zoom in, it's not very clear because it's using SD 1.5 UNet model. The quality isn't as good as what we're used to now with Flux and other newer diffusion models. Looking back at Stable Diffusion 1.5 UNet models, it's not the quality we have nowadays. Still, the animations are pretty coherent. We can fine-tune these animations using video-to-video -video methods. For now, this generates the base AI avatar videos, and we can enhance or upscale them later using other methods. I'll make another video about custom poses and video enhancement for the generated results. I'm using 512 pixel size here, but we can set 1024 resolution in the flux text to image generation groups for better aspect ratios in the Echo Mimic results. So, there you have it. Echo Mimic V2 is similar to the live portrait we've seen before, and we can use half body motions for the AI talking avatar. Sometimes we need to adjust the mask ratio and face crop ratio to improve facial expressions. And that's basically it for Echo Mimic V2. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.